Hi, we recently updated the charting platform on Kite to enhance the capabilities and add a few additional functions. My name is Hanan and these videos are recorded for Zeroda. I hope you've watched the previous video on charting which has a lot of information. What I'll do in this video is I'll add on to that information and I'll try and cover pretty much everything else too. So to invoke a chart, you can either hover your mouse over the market watch, click on the chart icon or you can simply use the shortcut key C. Now if you are an existing user of Zeroda and you've been using Kite for a while, what I'd like you to do is click on layout and clear your preferences. Additionally, I want you to go to your browser settings and clear the browsing data. Kite is supported on Firefox and Chrome. We don't support other browsers. Now once you've cleared your browsing data, you'll have the latest update of Kite. Now if you're a fresh user, you don't have to worry about it. You can just start using from the word go. What we've done with the update is we've given more room for the chart and we've kept the volume panel at the bottom. A few things have remained the same and a lot of things have changed and I'll talk about everything here. Right on top on the left side here, you have a search symbol option. What this does is it can search through all the scripts in your market watch. You can toggle between them and change the charts whenever you like. Now I've got the equity chart loaded. For equity, we give you intraday data from February 2015 until now and uh, we give you end of day data for almost 20 years. For futures and options, we give you data for the length of the contract. On top here, you have the name of the script followed by the current market price followed by the percentage change from the previous candle. If you want to know the percentage change from the previous day, you'll have to look on your market watch. Just below that, you have the compare option where you can compare stocks. Say for example, I want to compare a few banks. I have ICICI Bank loaded here. I can compare this with HDFC Bank. But what I'd like to do first is I'd like to go to display and make this a line chart for my convenience. And then I'll do a compare with HDFC Bank and this lines up to Together, gives you a detailed picture and you can go back for as long as you want historically to go back you just hold and drag to go forward, you hold and drag. Now let me remove the compare. Just right click on this, you can remove the compare and I'll go back to the candle chart. Holding the mouse and dragging down will pull the chart down and holding the mouse and dragging up will pull the chart up. And depending on the volatility, sometimes candles can be longer or smaller. If you hold here on the right side where the prices are, hold the mouse down and drag down, candle size decreases and increases depending on whether you're dragging up or down. You can modify the candle size to suit your needs and to zoom in you scroll down and to zoom out you scroll up by default we give you a one minute chart and this you can change it to whatever you like I prefer a five minute chart we have various time frames hourly daily weekly and uh, views I have a few indicators here let me create one for you to create a view you add a few studies let me try the moving average so I have my moving average here first I'll do it with 50 candles and then I'll add another moving average and do it for 20 candles so I can do my analysis based on the crossover and I'll change the color so I know which is which. And whenever there's a crossover, I can buy or I can sell. Additionally, if I want to add a few other studies, I can add that and I can resize my bars down here. I can add multiple indicators and neatly line them up based on my requirement. Sometimes you may not know what each indicator does, right? We have a solution for that too. Before I give you the solution check this out you can move your indicators up and down size them up keep them wherever you want and some some of the indicators like you may not know what the money flow index is just go to the kite user manual by clicking here and clicking on the user manual when you scroll down and go to support you have an option here studies and indicators you can click here every indicator which is available on kite for example i want to check out what the fibonacci retracements are so it tells you everything about it so you can study them and do what you have to do with them. Now I've created a brand new view here. What I can do is I can save this view so I don't have to you know keep coming back. Now by default when you leave something on for over one minute it gets saved. The layout gets saved or you can click on save preferences. Alternatively you can save the view itself. So I've already got some three different views saved. I'll save this also. All your views are saved on the cloud so you can access them anytime. Once I've saved a few views you can toggle between any of the views. Continue to do your analysis like you can toggle between scripts here and you can toggle between views here so this makes life very easy for a trader the guy can do his analysis and make decisions so that's the views option and you can just delete the view by clicking X 
and then you have the display by default we give you a candlestick pattern you can change it to the various chart styles then these are chart types you have Renko different kind of charts by default this is a linear scale this can be changed to log scale so you have the day theme night theme which we provide you can create your own theme by picking these options and saving them personally I prefer the day theme many options here for you to play around with and then studies once you've added a few studies you can just delete the study directly from here like I've added this negative volume index well there's not enough data I can either delete it from here or I just come to studies and delete and you've already saved a few views and you can toggle between them very easily there are over 120 studies read up about them and then you can use the option to save preferences when you click save preferences it saves the color of your theme and the time frame that you've chosen you can easily clear your preferences then here you have your crosshairs it tells you the exact price and the time wherever you are on the chart to close it just click on it again then you have the info box once you click on it wherever you go it tells you the OHLC the volume and the current market price of that candle you click on the info box again it becomes stationary on top you click on it again it disappears and then you have drawing tools in the previous version we had a few drawing tools in this we've got multiple drawing tools whatever kind of drawings you create these can be saved for that chart like for example I've created a horizontal line and I've left them here if I change the chart from here the drawings disappear but my indicators remain so the drawings are saved for that particular script and the indicators are saved across all charts I made the drawing on reliance if I want to check that drawing I have to go back to reliance and I can see my drawing to remove a drawing right click to delete so multiple drawing tools there for you to experiment with and then for example you've lost some internet connectivity or something else happened and you don't believe you have the latest data on the chart click on the refresh button and you get your latest chart data now a lot of us like to do our analysis king size what you can do is you can click on this pop out chart and the chart can come out elsewhere I have three different charts open here and I want to analyze them together on the Chrome Web Store I found a nice little extension called tab resize split screen layouts I just click on that you can download that it's free if I choose two by two all the open tabs get aligned next to each other and you can do your analysis and you want to go back to the main chart you can just maximize it and you have your chart open very quickly you can interchange your charts your scripts your indicators convenient for a trader another very important thing which we've added at the bottom is apart from the fact that you have the open high low close volume traded buy quantity sell quantity you also have this new feature here so when you click on one day it gives you exactly one day's chart five days it gives you hourly data and it gives you exactly five days chart one month it gives you the monthly chart three months daily data six months one year five years you get weekly data and when you click all it opens up the monthly chart when you change it to whatever else you want your previous saved view comes back so whatever the time frame you had saved it with all of that comes back helps you to do your analysis very easily now this is the new charting platform I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this much better than the previous one